We're looking at a small assortment of 10 19th century school books for children. The first book here is uh, wooden boards covered by uh, paper. And this is a early Noah Webster, Brattleboro, Vermont imprint, 1829, with a large woodcut frontis. It's a spelling book. And as you can see, it's still tight and sound is issued. The next book is paper covered boards with a leather spine. A great book plate here uh, of a man with a book and his cat. It's very nice. And this is a, a primer for Harmony, 1841. And this is interesting typography, musical book. The next uh, book we have here is printed paper covered boards with a leather spine mid-century, 1854, and this is chemistry and geology uh, for use in schools. There are some small little in-text illustrations, and it's very clean, tight, and sound as issued. Interesting, very interesting book. Next is marble papered cover boards with leather spine, and this is a biblical catechism. It's 1823, and this book is also complete. It's interesting because there are some early annotations by uh, owners uh, on the end papers, the blank end papers, and this book also is tight and sound as issued. The next book is this embossed cloth binding of the mid-19th century as well. It's actually just at the end of the Civil War, 1865, large woodcut frontis. It's a juvenile reader, um, signs of uh, usage, but still sound and tight. This is a printed paper covered boards book with a leather spine that's gilt ruled. We see here it is. 1832 Philadelphia by Carey and Lee. They were major publishers of cartographic material as well around that time and later uh, and earlier. This is a full leather binding of the era. Uh, it's got a, a, a contrasting title label here, 1835, a Latin exercise book for students. Also clean, tight, and sound with minor spotting. We've got a fine-looking American orator book with nice um, marbled uh, covered marbled uh, leather boards. And we've got uh, American Orator, 1818 by Increase Cook. And uh, the text leaves are all well-aged, toned, and browned and spotted, but it's still sound and tight as issued. The final pair of books is very interesting because what we've got are two books that appear at first glance to be the same uh, in very similar bindings. However, the bindings are actually, it's a different type of leather. And what we've got on this one is it's 1837 Portland, Maine. And this same title here is 1832 Dover, New Hampshire, which is where we are right now. And so you see the difference in the uh, typography of the title page as well as the imprint. It's really quite interesting that um, for two books to survive side by side like this, the same book, but they're actually different. And this one has a small, uh, some kind of a little, I think a little piece of ephemera inserted within it. <laughs> Interesting. At any rate, uh, this group of school books is currently uh, available on my website, briandymambro.com.